My name is Amit and I'm also known as Andrew. I'm born in India and then I was raised between India and England. I lived in England since uh, till I was uh, about 13, 14 years of age. And then I moved back to India because uh, my parents wanted to go back to their country and enjoy the better life. And then when I turned 18, I went to Australia to do my further education, which was in programming. Being an Indian, coming from an Indian background, in our family culture, there's a lot of push for education. Either be a doctor, an engineer, a programmer, or MBA. This is it. If you don't do this, you're not going to be successful. I wanted to travel. I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to get into the family business, which is construction in India. I had friends who were living in Africa and they were involved with the mining industry of copper and cobalt. So I decided this is my opportunity to do things my way, to do something different, to make a name of my own. So I went to Africa and I realized while mining was way too expensive, technical and required a lot more investment, uh, but everybody needed trucks. So this is where I fit in. I came back, prepared some money, went to China, bought my first truck, shipped it to Africa, and I was on a flight back to Congo. A problematic place at that time. There was gang wars and uh, tribal wars going on, moving into uh, democracy and there was a lot of issues and power struggles. I stayed in Congo for uh, four and a half years. I think if it wasn't for my parents, I would still be there. The money was excellent. The place was tough. It gave me just the right balance of adventure, danger, and at the same time, the reward of actually roughing it out and, and taking the hard call. Life is a set of experiences. If you absorb everything that's around you and you keep it in your mind, it always does come back and help you. I think the fact that I lived in such a difficult environment and I had to learn so quickly everything, uh, how to pull the strings, how to survive, how to exceed and excel in a place where you never imagined you could actually even survive. I think that's gone a long way. Since then, I've moved around more. I'm now settled in Serbia. And when I hit my first season of rains, and then when I hit my first season of snow and winter, I realized that this is not possible. Even in the warmest times, it's minus two, minus three. So I found myself sitting at home, just hoping the day would clear up and I could go out and detail. It is very difficult to juggle the business aspect of it and the passion aspect of it, the whole idea of detailing. And when I'm sleeping, rather than thinking of uh, dreaming of fairy tales, holiday in the Bahamas maybe, I'm dreaming of polishing and products and things. And that's when you wake up and you think, but this is taking a lot of my time. If I'm dreaming products and polishing, there's something wrong here. <laughs>